Hello everyone, this is Kelly B. and by doing my first FL Studio tutorial on the Z Game Editor. I'll be talking about how to do some automation and to link your beat to a specific parameter. So you need to have your mixer open and your playlist open. Click on your master channel and you want to select a Z Game Editor visualizer for an FX slot. This should bring up the two windows that are associated with the Z Game Editor, your Visualizer Master, and then the actual screen that you'll see the effects in. I'm going to go ahead and pick a, a few parameters here. Let's see, I'll pick Wormhole and Dark. A background, I will pick, let's see, that looks good. Lastly, for the foreground, let's pick the way dividers. Okay, so if we want to take the beat and make it pulsate, let's say, with the background alpha or the foreground alpha, that's probably going to be better. You're going to need to use a Fruity Peak controller on your beat. Now, I got my kick set up. I'm going to put them on insert 4. And the special effects that I have that goes at the same time, I'll put him on 4 as well. And I will go ahead and create this guy out here had a Fruity Peak controller. So, so with the Fruity Peak controller, you gotta make sure you unclick the mute, otherwise you won't hear your kick or anything that's associated with that channel. You wanna crank this guy up, the volume, leave the bass down. So then, then you go back to your Z Game Editor and pick the parameter you want to automate to that beat. In this case, we're going to do the foreground alpha. So if I right click on this slider, I can link to controller. And then I will select that Fruity Peak controller that I just created and click Peak Accept. So now the foreground of this effect is now tied to a beat of my drum. So I'll go ahead and put my cursor here and hit play. So as you can see, the effect was pulsating based on the beat. So the next step would be then to automate some other feature using an automation clip, which is very similar to doing any other automation clip in FL Studio. And that is just you right click on the actual slider here, and you will go ahead and create automation clip. And then it'll put an automation clip in your playlist. Then all you have to do is, at the specific point, you want that parameter to change, usually on some kind of, you know, transition or etc. Then you just go ahead and do that. So then let's see what happens. There you go, that's a short little tutorial um, on how to automate the Z Game Editor, specifically the beat. So, thanks a lot. Bye.